guys, what's up? Just Volkswagen here. I had a few people asking me about my helmet setup and uh, how I have everything wired up because I have the communication tied into the recorder. I thought I would do a quick video here and kind of show you what I got. So here's my helmet. I have the Shoei RF 1100 in the transmission TC5. So it kind of looks like carbon fiber. It is not carbon fiber, but uh, kind of looks like it looks really, really good. Of course, Volkswagen stickers. So that's what my helmet kind of looks like. Um, I've got a Drift HD Ghost camera on the side here, not the Ghost S. I haven't got the Ghost S, I just have the Ghost. I'm focusing on that guy. And on the other side I have a Cena SMH10, which is the Bluetooth module that uh, that allows me to communicate with Snowcat and other riders and stuff that uh, that tie in. So I have, uh, I have everything wired up internally that uh, I'll end up showing you guys kind of how that's done and how that's set up. You kind of see I've got I've got everything wired for power as well. So when we go on our trip, um, I don't have to take everything off my helmet and charge. I can just plug in a USB that's actually on the bottom. You can see the USB I have wired in on the bottom. And it basically runs to power for the Bluetooth unit and power to the drift. The drift also comes off as well. So the drift comes off as a separate unit. The low light video footage from the Ghost is not the greatest. The Ghost S is supposed to fix that. So this is the wiring I have. I have a USB, mini USB here for the drift power and micro USB here for the scene. I had to kind of cut it to make it fit. And all the wiring goes in here. So I'm gonna kind of tear apart the wiring and then explain how the power and everything wires in and we uh, should be good to go. But before I do that, I do want to say something about the Sina um, audio out. Basically, there's a headphone jack in the back of this here. It's actually used for MP3 in, not audio out. So what I had to do is I had to actually open the base unit and do some rewiring in here and wired it and soldered it and pulled everything apart with uh, some photos and some information from a guy on uh, adventurerider.com, advrider.com. And his, uh, his username is Stuart V. I'll put a link in the uh, description below that shows what I did inside of this to wire it. But I've kind of followed his information. I did it myself. I changed a few things, soldered it up, and uh, made this an audio output. So now I get audio output out of the unit, and I wire it with an internal microphone, which I will also point out. And that's kind of how the audio gets spread out. So let me just tear apart the helmet here. And uh, show you guys kind of what it's uh, what it's set up like inside. It uh, looks a little different now, doesn't it? <laughs> Everything's torn out. I've got all the pieces out and uh, the wiring exposed here. So I'm going to try and run through this with you guys because right now it's just a confusing, confusing mess. What I have is I have the audio output coming out of the Cena, which is the Bluetooth headset, and it comes down into here into this cable, and this cable is a line to mic adapter. This is line level audio, which is like loud audio. And into the HD Ghost is actually mic level audio. So I had to put it through a line to mic adapter, which starts here, runs through the back of the helmet, and ends up over here. And that basically takes it, that turns the volume down on it essentially. And it goes into the Y adapter cable here and plugs into the drift. Now the other end of the Y which is this guy here is just this is just a microphone this is actually a Sennheiser MKE 2 Gold I believe it's a um, omnidirectional studio lapel mic you don't really need it. you can buy a $30 lapel mic off eBay or anything to make this work but I just happen to have this lying around it's like a $400 studio mic so I said you know what might as well use it if I got it and I got everything heat shrinked and soldered up here and that goes into the other end of the Y cable that then plugs into the drift so that's kind of the audio portion that's all you really have to do when you want to record the audio from your Bluetooth headset. This is the microphone for the Cena. This is how the other person on the other end of the uh, Bluetooth communicator hears me. Um, and then I'll explain power the way I kind of have power laid out because that's more confusing. But I use it for the long road trips. I can actually plug my helmet in USB into my bike and charge it while I drive, which is cool. So I never have to worry about batteries. I have a USB cable from StarTech, which is a USB 2 male like this, which I believe is type A and it wise off to a USB male type A as well, and a USB micro, which goes into the Cena. This other end, I then got an adapter cable, which is USB female to USB mini, and that plugs into the back of the drift. That's kind of how I have it wired up. Audio-wise, 
and power wise and that's my setup um, all the information about my adapter cables and everything I've got is going to be in the description below it'll have all the links to all the parts I bought if you guys are interested in doing this I'm always open for questions if you have any questions about what I've done this is kind of a confusing setup but it works it's kind of the only way you can take the audio from the Bluetooth into the camera as well as your own microphone so um, yeah leave a comment below if you guys have any questions about this setup and I'll, I'll try and answer them oh, and uh, that's my setup that's how you can hear, you know, Snowcat and all the other people, as well as my own microphone.